Sir, our buddy Stitch down here. Yes, sir. Here are a couple of his favorites. Young man here's got a good looking t-shirt on. It says Paul Moon Mullins, Bluegrass Hall of Fame, class of 2022. My dad started a Hall of Fame career right here in Carter County. WGOH went on the radio in December of 1959, and my dad went to work on WGOH in 1960. And he started the tradition of the radio station in Carter County featuring some bluegrass music. So started, started here on the radio, worked over at WTCR in Ashland for a little while, came back to WGOH until 1964, and he started a historic career on the radio station in Middletown, Ohio. It was a landmark uh, country and bluegrass music station, and he took it to the next level and uh, promoted bluegrass to millions of people for a 45-year career on the radio, and he was a good fiddle player. Yeah. He was the first the guy to ever record a bluegrass record and come down the mountain, Peggy Daly. And uh, Dad had worked for Ralph Stanley for a while, for Ralph and Carter Stanley in the early days. And Ralph made old Katie Daly a real favorite. No doubt Ralph, too, will come out here and burn Katie to the ground here after a while. But Dad uh, was selected to the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame. He was called last fall at the uh, ceremonies at the Performing Arts Center in Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah. Through the 1970s, he helped the Holt brothers and their uncle Harley Gabby put together a show, and the boys from Indiana, just outside Cincinnati, and boy, they, uh, they could pack them in and put on a show. Bluegrass festivals everywhere through the 70s, 80s, and 90s. 1975 was a big year, their first nationally distributed album. This was the title track, and it was a big hit in 1975. But I got a good story song, we'll sing this for you. It's called Atlanta is Burning. <laughs>
Здесь, да, я, 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 я